Well, I became, uh, I was selected to be one of the um, ministry's uh, key business users. And um, I guess that was, that was um, the key for me. That's, that's where I started working together with Data Talk, and they've been really helpful with um, all these uh, new, new um, systems that we're currently using. Like, for instance, the RMS 7 upgrade. Uh, I, was, I was recently selected to go over to Wellington uh, to train with the team. They trained me to, and um, the team that I came with, how to work with um, the new case management um, um, <clears throat> functions that are on um, RMS 7 now. And uh, they've been really helpful with that. Well, the, two, the two weeks that I was there, you know, I, I learned a lot from them. Um, uh, everything about the system was just was um, really sophisticated, but they really helped me to understand more, you know, to understand how to use it and everything else. Just it was really good. <laughs> Uh, when we talk about putting a new software system in, we're actually talking about changing the way people work and it takes time to absorb that change. And some of the things we've put in place to help an organisation do that is to appoint key business users really early on in the project and map out what our goals and objectives are for the implementation. And that way it, it fosters a, a great degree of ownership at the grassroots level, not just from the project sponsor. Now, both of those are important, but those key business users are the, are the power users of the system. They use it all day, every day, and they know it inside out. And they're the first level of support that the other users come to when they have a question or a problem. We train those people to actually facilitate the training sessions themselves. And it's all about just creating that really high level of ownership. And we know we've done that when they say, my system, you know, we're, we're going to use my system and get this working for us. And it's that really empowering language that they use that we know we're doing something right. Yeah, as a key, as a key PU is not, as, is not an easy task for me, but um, during, um, through the support of our managers and uh, data talk, and the trainings that I were attended gave you is a really good job for me and not only for me to gain a lot of experience so that I can share to my other work colleagues. Yeah, I am proud to be a KPU. The key business user model, if you like, is a really important part of our methodology uh, because it has that inclusion for the client and, and the, the client chooses their KBUs, their key business users. And typically it's not high level management, it's doers. It's people that they see, they think can make a difference. People who are connected, engaged, and want to be involved. They're, they're the people who make great KBUs. Because what happens with a KBU is they're involved throughout the entire project. They will be there um, during the scope in visit They'll be involved in the sessions that we run whilst we scope the uh, development. They will be involved in reviewing the documentation and signing off on that. But when it really hits is when they come for user acceptance testing here in Wellington, because they're away from the office for a two, three week period, and they are intensely using the system, all of the new features, and over that course of time, they really do become champions. They become product champions. And, and that knowledge, and if you like, power when they go back, really, really helps to gel and bring in the other team members and the rest of the people and users who will be using the system back in country. After we've gone live and you know, the Dustalk team have gone back, those are the people who continue to, to, to be in-country ambassadors for the system. They're, they're the ones who, who are there to help push it through and have that knowledge and confidence and bring the rest of the organization, organization along with them. So it's a really, really important role and it works really well. It worked very well for Samoa. The team that they chose were excellent, very switched on, 
very engaged and have helped to make sure that that product has been received very successfully from launch and since then as well, as we now move into more of a business as usual um, support and normal running of the system. Any issues that staff have with RMS, instead of going to IT like they used to in the old days, they now go to one of their own peers. They're on hand, they're available, and they have a relationship directly to Data Talk, so they can resolve their own issues without having to include IT. Uh, it's worked fantastically. It's worked so well that the first three we uh, appointed for the RMS 7 upgrade, we then appointed three more for the recent case management and audit case selection upgrade and three backups for those. So now we have nine resident experts on RMS that have really helped to change from being a manual driven to an automated, builds trust in the system and it helps the actual staff have a connection with data talk through one of their own. So that relationship grows with data talk, data talk understand our needs much better and they're able to respond and maintain the system and quickly go back to the staff directly that's been fixed or that's been addressed or we've changed this from your suggestion. So the key business user I think is one of the best models I've seen. And all of those staff that are key business users have progressed through the organisation. They have become more confident, they're highly skilled and they're highly valued by the organisation. So it's been a win-win. It helps the project, it helps them individually and it helps the staff.